Hello everyone. Today we are going to conduct the half wave rectifier experiment. Okay, this is a circuit diagram of the half wave rectifier. In this half wave rectifier, what are the uh, waveform we are getting? Which waveform we are giving to the input and how we are getting the output waveform? First of all, rectifier is a device which convert AC to pulsating DC. So we will see the pulsating DC in the DSO, digital storage oscilloscope. Okay, so by connecting this circuit, we will give the input supply and we will get the output supply here. Okay, input we are giving the AC, output we are getting the uh, pulsating DC. If you see the diagram, this is called as a transformer. We are using step down transformer here. Step down transformer is used to decrease the voltage. We are giving the input supply voltage AC and it is a PN junction diode. Okay, and here we are connecting one the load resistance. Okay, we will vary the load resistance here. By varying the load resistance, we will find out the uh, AC voltage as well as the DC voltage at this output stage. Okay, after getting the AC voltage and DC voltage, we will find out the ripple factor. This is called as a DSO. This DSO is used to measure the, uh, used to see the output of the waveforms. Okay, digital storage oscilloscope, DSO means. Okay, now let's connect the circuit. Okay, after connecting, we will see how we will get the waveform. Okay, this is called as this is the breadboard and it is a transformer. We are using the step down transformer. So if you see the circuit diagram here, in the circuit diagram, in the circuit diagram here, uh, this uh, transformer first terminal is connected to diode P type. So this is a transformer first terminal. This transformer first terminal I am connecting to the P type. I am connecting vertically. Connected means we will connect vertically. Like the transformer second terminal, I am connecting to the ground. So the transformer second terminal is connecting to the ground here. Okay, now, uh, now let's connect the uh, load resistance here. Load resistance first terminal is connected to the PN junction diode uh, N terminal. Okay, so this is called as a DRB. Okay, by using the DRB, I am connecting, uh, I am increasing the load resistance values. Okay, so now keep the all the resistor values in the minimum position. So now this DRB uh, pass to terminal, the first terminal, we are, I am connecting to the PN junction diode N type. A DRB first terminal, I am connecting to the PN junction diode N type and this DRB second terminal is connected to the ground. So this is the second terminal of the DRB, decayed resistance box, I am connecting to the ground here connect to the ground okay this connection is completed next there is a voltmeter here this voltmeter is used to measure the voltage at ac as well as the dc voltage okay that's why to measure the at a time or at the output stage as it is a pulsating dc we have some ac quantity as well as the dc quantity at the output that's why to measure the ac and dc i am taking the multimeter here okay so in the multimeter there is a, a no, uh, there is a point this point this is the voltage at ac okay by keeping this knob in this position we can measure the voltage at dc now if we keep the knob position in this position that is we will measure by using uh, that uh, dc we will measure at this point now we will connect the uh, voltmeter here for this uh, this multimeter we will connect across the uh, this diode the multimeter positive and the multimeter negative this is the multimeter positive okay this multimeter positive is connected to instead of voltmeter i am using the multimeter this multimeter this multimeter positive is connected to the multimeter positive is connecting to the junction point here that is a, a pn junction diode second terminal that is a cathode for the internal we are connecting okay next this multimeter this multimeter this is the multimeter second terminal and it is a multimeter first terminal it is drb negative is connected to the ground Okay, here is the multimeter first terminal and multimeter second terminal. I am connecting multimeter second terminal to the ground. Multimeter second terminal to the ground. 
and the multimeter first terminal to the pn junction diode cathode terminal and here if you see the and uh, this drb pass to it is drb pass to is connected to junction point this is a drb pass to okay so this is a circuit connection see here if you see the circuit connection here this is a transformer transformer first terminal is connected to the pn junction diode anode terminal here we, i am connecting to the anode terminal next anode terminal next p uh, this transformer second terminal is connected to the ground next is pn junction diode this cathode and the drb first terminal and the voltmeter first terminal are connected to one junction that's why there are three terminals so one two three terminals are connected to junction these terminals are this pn junction diode n type and it, it is a drb positive uh, first terminal and it is a multimeter first terminal these all are connected to junction point if you see the ground terminal in the ground terminal transformer second terminal and the drb second terminal and the multimeter second terminal these three, three terminals are connected to ground there are three ground terminals and it is a junction terminal and this is the remaining circuit okay now here uh, output this is a dso terminal here okay by using the di uh, digital storage oscilloscope we will see the output of the waveform output waveform we will observe in the digital storage oscilloscope this is called as a digital storage oscilloscope okay in this by using this digital storage oscilloscope we will observe the waveforms now whatever the input we are giving first we are giving the ac input okay now we will see whether we will get the ac input or not that we will see here okay now if we connect the so crbo probes at the input side i am connecting this crbo probes at the input side input we are giving input we are giving ac here okay whether we will get the ac waveform or that we will see okay now if you see the drbo here okay here there is a auto button if you press the auto button automatically whatever the input terminal is there input we are giving ac it is alternating current here it is here ac alternating current positive off cycle negative off cycle okay as a positive negative positive anyway, it is a ac waveform we are getting we are giving the input we are giving which one input we are giving ac so that waveform we will observe on the dso okay so where we have to observe the uh, output here output we have to observe across this load resistance okay this load resistance mean at this junction point and its ground terminal okay as it is a common terminal so at the junction point i am, i will connect the dso first terminal and the dso second terminal to the ground and by connecting like this i will observe the waveform at the output now this is called as a uh, one more probe i am taking to uh, see the output of the waveform here here by connecting at the junction dso first terminal and this dso second terminal Okay, now if you again we have to press the auto button if you press the auto button here we will get the dc here okay so in this is the pulsating dc only positive off cycle is conducting negative off cycle is zero positive off cycle is conducting negative off cycle is zero here okay so if you see here if you, if you take the positive off cycle it is conducting in the negative off cycle it is zero again if you take the positive off cycle in the positive off cycle we are getting the waveform positive off cycle is processing to the output but the negative off cycle is zero so from this we can say that in half wave rectifier only positive off cycle is processing to the output negative off cycle is zero that's why the name of the rectifier is half wave rectifier okay here we are getting the pulses but in the if you see the output of the waveform there is a ac quantity as well as a dc that's why it is called as pulsating dc it is not the pure dc if you take the pure dc we will get the straight line in the pure dc we will get the straight line but here we are getting the pulses that's why it is called as a pulsating dc in the pulsating dc there is a ac quantity as well as a dc quantity okay these are all the uh, called as uh ripples this ripples we will remove by using the filters now how much amount of ripples present in the output of the waveform because the ripples are uh, ripples means what there is a ac quantity is there ac quantity is unwanted quantity because it is a dc means we should get pure dc okay but here we are not getting the pure dc there is a ac quantity we are getting this ac quantity is called as a ripples here this ripples how much amount of ripples are present in the output of the half wave rectifier that we will find out by using the ripple factor okay that ripple factor we will find out by using the a uh, formula ripple factor is equal to vac by vdc now we will find out the 
VAC value and VDC value by using this multimeter. Okay, here I am connecting this multimeter here. Multimeter, where we are connecting the multimeter, if you see the output uh, circuit diagram here, this DSO, okay, this, this DSO we are, we are connecting across this uh, one terminal at the junction and the one more terminal to the ground. This terminals of the DSO used to measure the output of the waveform and if you connect the DSO at this terminal, if you connect the DSO, digital storage oscilloscope terminals, one probes are connected here, we can see the input. If you connect here, we can see the output here. Okay, uh, like this we will uh, see the output of the input waveform as well as the output waveform here. Now, ripple factor. Ripple factor we will measure. First, we will, uh, to find the ripple factor, we required VAC as well as the VAC. This is the ripple factor formula. Ripple factor is equal to VAC divided by VDC. That's why we have to find out VAC and VDC. Okay, by using this voltmeter. Okay, uh, we will measure VAC as well as VDC. To measure VAC and VDC, that's why I am using at a time. That's why I am using multimeter here. Okay, now we are not using, uh, we are not connecting any load. Okay, if no load, we are getting. Um, when the load is not connected. Okay, when the resistor values are zero, I am not connecting any loads. The resistors are not connected. Okay, the RL value is zero. The no load voltage is 2.15. Okay, so we are, I am connect, uh, to measure the low, uh, no load voltage, I am keeping this multimeter in the DC position. This is the DC position. Okay, I am con uh, connecting, uh, keeping this knob in the DC position. Okay, now, we will by taking the loads we will measure vac as well as the vdc now i am increasing the uh, this load resistance to 1 kilo ohm 0 to 1 kilo ohm i am taking the load okay if we increase the load from 0 to 1 kilo ohm the dc voltage we are keeping the uh, this knob in the dc position dc voltage position 2.55 volts dc now at the same at the output if you want the ac voltage also because the ripples are present ac voltage is 5.4 volts okay now again i am increasing the load resistance from 2 kilo uh, 1 kilo ohm to 2 kilo ohm to the ac voltage we are getting 5.5 volts now i am changing the knob position to dc here we will get the dc voltage 2.57 we will get okay again it took uh, 3 kilo ohm if i increase the load resistance from 2 to 3 we will get 2.58 dc voltage and if we take the ac voltage here ac voltage 5.5 volts like this at the output of the at the output stage we will we will get this uh, we will get some ac quantity as well as the dc quantity whatever the ac quantities we are getting that is the ripples okay and uh, similarly we are getting the dc quantity also dc as well as ac we are getting if you see the output of the uh, waveform so there is a dc okay as well as a ac okay that's why uh, the ripples we will find out we have to find out okay if you see the values whatever the values we are uh, we got up to now uh, this is the formula no load voltage we got 2.18 volts okay at 0 volts at the load resistance is 0 we got vac is equal to 4.6 and vdc is equal to 2.17 okay so if we calculate the uh, form, if we apply the formula vac by vdc we will get one value that value we have to divide it by root 2 we will get 1.499 so this is the ripple factor value so like this we have to calculate triple factor value this is the vac values vdc values for the different load resistor values okay ripple factor formula is vac by vdc okay now if you want to find out the regulation the formula is v no load minus v full load by v full load into 100 by using this formula we will find out the regulation okay if you find out the efficiency the formula is power in dc divided by power in ac Okay, like this we have to, uh, we can find out ripple factor regulation as well as the efficiency of the half wave rectifier. Okay, this is the procedure to uh, uh, observe the waveforms of the 
input waveform as well as the output waveform of the half wave rectifier. In half wave rectifier, only positive half cycle we will conduct, negative half cycle is zero. Okay. In the next lab, we will see about the full wave rectifier.